You know what's up, it's Trog. Got back again with some more my immortal. I'm gonna apologize in advance for any loud noises outside. I'm recording this on New Year's. So that's probably my neighbor popping off fireworks. So again, this is a advanced apology. So without any further ado, let's go balls deep into some more my immortal. Chapter 31. Authors know I said shut the fuck up, you queefs. Stop, Kaylin. Ebony, I'm Mary Sue, okay? You do not even know what's going to happen, okay? So, have you. One, 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 one. Thanks to my BFF for even 4D help. I always knew you're on Voldemort's side, you son of a bitka. Buffy rocks, one, one, one. S the serious side to Snape. No, I'm not. I was teaching them something. Snap clamped. <laughs> oh, hecking yeah. I took some black Voldemort serum out of my pocket and gave it to Severus. He made Snap drink it, but Severus is Snape's first name. Okay. He did angrily. Then L Luscious took out a tape recorder and started playing it while he did curses on Snap. Then Professor Sinister and Lucian made us get out with them. Well, Snape told his secrets. <laughs> Lucian took Vampire and Draco to the nurse after thanking me a million times. Professor Trevorrow took me to a dark room. Now I was going to go back in time to seduce Volksmort. Moving posters of MCR and Nirvana were all over. Please don't bring Nirvana into this enemy again. For the love of God, don't bring Nirvana into this. Kurt Cobain didn't die for this. Hermione, Darkness, and Willow came too. Be Ludi Mary gave me a black bag from Tom Red's store. What's in the bag? Uh, I asked her, Professor Trevory. You will see, she said I opened the bag. There was a sexy, tight, low smut, black leather gothic dress. It had a red corset stuff and there was a slit up the leg. You could, I put it on. My friends helped me put on black fishnets and black pointy boots. Well, I'd chosen. Will and Darkness helped me put on black eyeliner and blood red lipstick. You look hecking kawaii, pee pee. Be Looney Mary said. Fangs, I said. Okay, so now you're gonna go back in ten, said Professor Sinister. You will have to do it in a few sessions. She gave me a black gun and put it on, on and a strap on my fist, and it's like an reddish and that evil. Again, don't bring Resident Evil into this. And why do you need a gun? Why can't you just do a Vatican Then she gave me a black time tuner. After an hour, use the time tour here, go back here, Professor Trevorrow said. Then she and be looting Mary put a pensive in front of me. Everyone went in front of it. Good luck won. Everyone shooted. Darkness and Willow gave me the death touch sin. Then I jumped sexily into the pensive. Suddenly I was in four tough test school. In front of me was one of the sexiest goth guys I had ever seen. He was wearing long black hair, kind of like Mikey Way, only black. He had green eyes like Billy Joe Armstrong and pale white skin. He was wearing a black ripped up suit with fans. It was Tom Bombadil, 1111. That's a Lord of the Rings character, not a Harry Potter character. Chapter 32. I said stop flaming, okay? I know his name isn't Tom Bodil. That was a mascot. One 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 one. If you did not lick this story, then you can go screw yourself. You suck. I said flirtily. I'm a Nobi Wade, the new student. I shook shocked my pale hands if their black nail paws with him. The name's Tom, he said. But you can call me Satan. <laughs> Tom Satan. Bombadil. That's beautiful. That's my middle net, Nom. We show cans. Well, come on, we have to go upstairs. Satan said I follow them. Hey, Satan, do you have to be a fan of Grande? Since MCR and Evanescence don't exist yet, then I asked. Oh my heckin' god, how did you know? I guess. I actually like, G I like GC a lot, too. Get it? Because JC did that song, I Just Wanna Live, that sounded really 80s. OMG, me too. 
I replied happily. Well, the guests want there having a concert in Hogsmeade Satan whispered. Hogsmeade? Yeah, that's what they used to call it in, in these times before it became Hogsmeade in 2000. How would he know this? I can, how would he know this? Is, is he clairvoyant? And if he's clairvoyant, he would see this coming. I mean, you gotta read it on this man's 3D chest, alright? Come on. He told me all secretively, but there's a really cold shop, a shop called Hot Topic. I finish happy again. He frowned confusedly. No, it's called Hot Issue. He smiled scurvily again. Then in 1999, they changed it to Hot Topic. He moaned. Again, if you clear where. Uh, oh, now everything was making sense to me. So is Dumbledore your principal? I shouted. Uh huh, and took off his black nails. I'm in Slytherin. Oh my heckin' god. Just me too, I shrieked in. You go to the skull? Get it, cause I'm gothic? He asked. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I knew I smelled hat illy. Suddenly Dumbledore flew in on his broomstick and started shredding at us angrily. No talking in the halls. He had short blonde hair and was wearing a polo shirt from American Ogle Outfitters. Stupid goths. Satan rolled his eyes. He's his so mean to us goths and pucks because we're in silver and not corrupts. I turned around angrily. I, actually, I think maybe it's because you're the Bark Lord. What the heck? He has asked angrily. Oh, nothing, I said sweetly. Then suddenly the floor opened. Oh my heck, God, no, I screamed as I fell down and everyone looked at me, literally. Hey, where are you going? Same mass as I fell. I got out of the hole and was in the black, back in the pensive in front of Professor Trevory's classroom. Dumbly Dumb was there. Dumbly Dwarf. I think I just met you, I said. Oh yeah, I remember that. Dumbly Dwarf said, trying to be all gothic. Wait, wouldn't freaking Voldemort have this memory now? Oh, all right. None of this makes sense. Sinister came in. Hey, this is my classroom. Wait, what the heck, Ebony? What are you doing? Um, I looked at her. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What the heck, how I screamed, forgetting she was a teacher for a second, but she's goth, so it's okay. Professor Sinister looks sad. Um, I was drinking Voldemort serum. She started to cry black tears of depression. I like how there's elemental tears in the story. Double Dumb didn't know about them. Hey, are you crying tears of blood? He asked you curiously, touching a tear. Whose blood is black? Dumbledore, come on. I fell off. We both said, and Dumbledore took his hand away. Professor Sinister started crying again in her chair. She started sobbing limpid tears. Oh my god, Ebony. I think I'm addicted to Voldemort serum. So, I mean, is Voldemort serum like lean or something? So, like, Professor Sinister is addicted to Cody in here? It'd be a nice little realness of the story. Hey, authors don't see you fecking preps. Go F yourself. That's serious issues. Go to hack. <sighs> Chapter 33. I said stop. Shut up. It's not my fault. Okay, if you don't lick the story, then you're a prep. So F you flammers. P.S. I'm not updating until you give me five, five god reviews. This time in a minute. You suck. Thanks, Raven, for the help. Ill promise to help with your story, Wolves. One. Oh my hecking god, I shoot angrily. Do, should we get you to St. Mangus, bitch? Oh, so it's like. Is it like a manga school? It'd be pretty interesting. Place for weebs to go. It makes sense. She's Japanese. Hell no. She said, listen, Egugi, I need your help. Next time you go back in 10. Do you think you could ask Tom Anderson for some help? Why is it Tom Anderson now? It's Tom Riddle. I hate this story. It's a very passion. Sure, I said sadly. I went outside the door. Draco was there, 111. He was weird. A big black gothic Juker Charlotte's shirt, which was his pajamas. Hey, sexy, I said. How'd it go, Anna B? Yeah, so his voice was so sexy and low, kind of like Gerard Way when he's talking. Fine, I responded. We started to go back into the dawn. How far did you go with Satan? 
Rico asked jealously. Not too far, Lol. I borked. Will you have to do it with them? Rico asked anxiously. I hopped not too far, 111. She didn't answer the question. That was a answer to the last question. Then I felt bad for shooting at him. Yeah, I would feel bad if I started shooting at my significant other as well. I said, sorry, we French. What, what happened to Snipe? I growled. You will see, Draco giggled mistressly. He opened the door. Snapping Lumpkin was there. Sirius was pokering them, staking them with a black knife. No, please, Lumpkin bagged. As Sirius started to suck his blood, I laughed statistically. I talked some photos of him and snapping and torqued. Okay, I know this is mean, but think about it. People, they are pedos, snap tried to wrap them, and anyway, see this rock for, as anyone see Shrek attack for you all. So, cruel and unusual punishment here, alright? We took some of Snipe's blood, then Draco and I went back to our rooms. We sat in the gothic black coffin. My clothes were kind of dirty, so I put on a black leather outfit. Thingy, kind of like the one Sui has in the Andre world. If you haven't heard of it, then F you. I put on some black platform high heels. Darko put on the desolation livers by MCR Den. We started to take off each other's clothes. I talk off his shit. And he had a six pack wolves. We started to mac out like in the garage. What an odd like movie tie in here, the garage, like the horror movie. Okay. He put he pot his wetness in my you know what sexily. I got an orgy. Oh, Draco. One 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 one. Oh my heck and good Draco. I screamed passively as he got an eructation. Well so he went and saw. That's interesting. I love you to every. He whispered sexily and then we fell asleep lol. Why does she put lol like after every sounds? Alright, chapter 34. Shut the fuck up, preps. Have you even read the story? You are probably all just preps and posers, so F you. 1111. Thanks, you're even for the help one. I woke up in the coffin the next day. Draco was gone. I put on some black tight sexy dress that was all ripped in the end. There was red corset stuff going up the front and the back and it came up to my knees. There was a slit in the dress like in Mr. and Mrs. Simps. I put on ripped black fishnets and black stilton boots. Suddenly, Sorius cocked on the door. I opened it. What? Hi, Ebony, he said. Guess what? You have to come again, spelled C-U-N, to Professor Sinistor's office. Okay, I said in the present voice. I wanted to screw Drake or maybe lesson to MCR or Evanescence. I came anyway. So what the heck happened with Snipe and Lupin? I asked Sorius flirtily. Why did you be flirting with Sirius? Oh, I hecking tortured them. He answered in a statistic way. They are in Abkhazian now. Well, I laughed evilly. Where are Draco and Vampira? I muttered. They are excused from school today, sodomized, moaned sexily. Right now they are watching The Nightmare Before Christmas. Sodomized. We went into the office. Professor Sinister was there. She was wearing a gothic black dress as all ripped around. <laughs> kind of like the one Amy Lee wears in this, <laughs> wears in this pic. Uh, parenthesis HTTP slash she was wearing some drinking some milk some wort serum. She took out the pensive and the time to her. Anyway, you wanted to do another section now. Also, I need you to find the cure for being addicted. She asked sadly. Good luck, Fangs. Better get some uh, addictol there. And then I jumped into the prince again. Suddenly I looked around. I was in the great hall eating Count Chorkula. It was in the morning. I was sitting next to Satan. On a table was a tall gothic man with long black hair, pale skin, and blue eyes, wearing a dark suit and 
black Cronvers, Cronvers shoes. He looked just like Charlotte Manson. I noticed he was drinking a Portland. Who's he, one one? I asked. Oh, that's Professor Slutborn, saying said. He's the Portland teacher. Emmy, yeah. Did you know that Marilyn Mason is having playing in Hogsmeade tonight? I thought it was Hogsmeade. And they are showing the exercise in the movies before that? Yeah. Well, want to go to concert in the movie with me? Chapter 35, Ghost of You. Author's note, thanks to Suvi for the idea. You rock. F off, perhaps 11111. Thanks to Raven for the help you rock and roll. P.S. I'm going to end the story really soon. Thank God. So F you 111. Oh yeah, and no any gothic names, please tell me. I need for serious lol. Thanks, one. <coughs> I went into the common room, thinking of Satan. So I guess Draco was there, 111. I grasped. He was looking as sexy as Eva, wearing black leather pants, a black lonk and prack, lonk and prack t-shirt, and black eyeliner. Jacob, what are you doing? I gasped. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little tired. Huh? Yes? And then I remember, it wasn't Draco, it was Lucan. He still had two arms. Oh, hi, Lucian. I said, I'm Ebony, the new student. We both shook hands. Y'all, Satan told me about you. Lucian said he pinted to a group of sexy gothic guys. They were sitting in a, sighting in a quarter cutting. <laughs> it was serious. Vampires died. And snap. All of them were wearing black eyeliner and good Shroud t shirts. Listen, I'm in a goth band with those guys. We're playing tonight at the Marilyn Manson show's backup. Orly, I asked. Yeah, he said, we're called X Black X Tier X. <laughs> oh, that's a freaking 2009 Xbox 360 name right there. I play to gutter. Spar <laughs> Spartacus plays the drums. He's pointing at Sam. Snap plays the boss. <laughs> the boss. And Jamez plays the guitar, even though we call him Samuro after Samara in the ring. Hey bastards, I told, I told them they gave me death such sin. <laughs> is death such sin? Like they were gonna... Is it like an axe? Is it like, like they perform like fellatio on her? And they're just like, hey, are you? Again, unanswered questions. Suddenly I guessed again. But don't you have a lead singer? And asked Lucian, look, Dawn sadly. We oozed too, but she contempted suicide by silting her wrist. Oh my heckin' god, 1-1. One, one. That's so heckin' sad. I guess. It's okay, but we need a new lead snigger. Uh, that, there's an S in front of it, so I'm not racist, I swear. Sailor said. Well, I said, I'm in a banana myself. Really? Uh, snap. I couldn't believe it. He used to be gothic, 1-1-1. One, one, one. Yeah, we're called Bl Bloody Gothic Rose 666. Do you want to hear me sing? Yeah, said everyone. So the guys talk out their guitars, but I thought they had like the drums and all that, but I guess not. They began to play pay a song by Get It Cause Bye Guy. Get it cause get it cause bye guys are so sexy. Groom Day. Why couldn't they just be like original and so man cover band? I walk this empty street along the bowl of rad of bork and dreams. I sing sexy. I do not own the lyrics to that song. I'm very surprised that you don't. Everyone guess. Anopa B. Will you join the band, Fliz? Begolution, Samuro, Sirius, and Snap? Um, okay. I'm sure. Are we gonna play the thing? Yeah. They said. Okay, so but I... Knew that I needed to get in the room, and I walked outside, wondering how I could go forward in time. Suddenly, John McCorn on me. It was Morty McFlee. Why? Why? Why is Why is Back to the Future and Marty McFly here now? This is stupid. He was wearing a black banana t-shirt and bla black baggy jeans. What the hell are you doing here? Yeah, that's my question exactly. I asked. 
I will help you go forward in Tim, I believe, he said seriously, then he took on a black Tim machine. I went into it and suddenly I was in forward in time. Talking about a deus ex machina. Chapter 36. <clears throat> I said stop flaming, okay? I bet you're probably old 70 year olds. Yes, Porter says you're a prep. Oh yeah, and thanks to ready for the help I find an angle on the girl. I looked around in a depressed way. Suddenly I saw Professor Sinister Billy Mary Socrates and Draco and Vampire were over there too. Why is why is an ancient Greek philosopher going near by now? But I guess after Spartacus and Marty McFly's cameo, I think we're okay. And Tom Bombadil. I looked around in a depressed way. Suddenly I saw Professor Sinister be uh OMFG, Sorius, I saw you and Samuro and Snip and everyone, 111. I can't believe Snap used to be gothic. Yeah, I know, Sirius said sadly. Oh, hey there, PP. Professor Traveler said in an emo verse, voice drinking some Volksamore serum. Hi, Effer. I asked, listen, Satan asked me to go to, to a gothic concert and a movie, so I need a sex and new outfit for the day. Also, I'm plugging a gothic band, so I need an outfit for that, too. Oh, my Satan, the one. Get it, because she's gothic. Yes, be loading Mary. Want to go to Hot Topic to shop for her outfits? Oh, my hecking Satan. Let's we'll have a group cutting session. One, one, said Professor Trevory. For a teacher, that's a very bad decision to make. It's a very bad thing to be uh, encouraging students to do it with you. I can't wait for that, but we need to get some stuff first. Yeah, I can't wait to perform self mutilation. Said so, Lowell. Well, yeah, we need some potions for, for Professor Trevory. So she won't be addicted to Voltsamort serum anymore. And also some love potion for enemy, Draco said resultantly. Well, we have potions class now, Lola well, said. Let's go. We went sexily to potions class, but Snap wasn't there. Instead, there was Corne <laughs> Sorry, this is going to take a second. Cornelio, fuck. 11111. Hey, where the heck is Dumbledore? Draco asked angrily. STFU shot a shooting. Cornelio, fuck. He is an. As Cabian now with Snip and Lupin, he's old and weak and has cancer. Now do your work. My friends and I talked angrily. I can't believe Snap used to be gothic. Vampire ass surprisingly. That's it, Cornelio. Fuck, shooting me angrily. I'm getting Professor. F <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting Professor Bridge. One one one. He stopped that angrily. My friends and I began talking again. I began to drink some blood mixed with beer. Suddenly I saw Hagrid in the cupboard. What the heck is he doing? How did Hagrid fit in a cupboard? It's really it's impressive. Is he like a contortionist? What the heck is he doing? I asked and I looked at Draco. He was wearing tons of eyeliner and he looked sexier than ever. Suddenly, Hargrip, what the f are you doing? He's shooting. I looked around. Hargrove was putting something in my glass of blood. Nice. Hag Hagrid is a Bill Cosby date rapist now. Darko and Vampire started to bend him up sexily. God, you're such a poser, I shoot at Hagrid. Suddenly I looked around while I was putting in the blood. It was an Asian potion. Yep, it was Luffy's. Great. Chapter 37. Authors know, okay, everybody, I'm going on vac vacation on the 1st of July, so I'm either going to end the fic or up that in a week. Thanks, one, oh, I hope. Perhaps stop playing in my story. Raven, thanks for help. See you after vacation. Darko's point of view, wool. Vampire and I chained hair to the floor. Oh, me hecking Satan. And be said, she was so hot. Maybe I could use Amnesia person to make... Satan fall in love with me faster. That doesn't make any sense. But you're so sexy and wonderful anyway, Tana said a vampire. Why would you need it? To make everything go faster, Wool. But you won't have to do it or anything with him, will you? I asked jealously. 
Oh my heaven god, guys, you're so scary, 1-1. One, one. So Brittany, a heaven crap. Shut the F up, said so Willow. Well, anyway, let's go to Professor Trouble's room. Draco, Ebery, and I went to Professor Signata's room. But Professor Sinister wasn't there instead, and Tom Brick was. Oh, hi, Heckers, he said. Listen, I got you some new cool clothes. I took out the clothes in the back. It was a gothic leather miniskirt that said 666 on the back, black stilton boots, leather fish hats, and a black corset. Oh my god, fags. I said hugging him in a gothic way. How do you hug someone in a gothic way? I took the clothes in the bag. Okay, Professor Sinister isn't here. What the heck should we do, Master Draco? Suddenly so looked at a sign on the black wall. Oh my heck, you Satan. I screamed as I read on it. On it, everyone, Professor Sinister is away. She is too gothic. Oh, what a, what a offense to do. She's an Ascavian now. Well, this shall be taught by Dumbledore, Dum I'm sorry, Doubly Dork, who is back, but he shall not be principal for now. Sincerely, Professor Rumbridge. Oh my hecking god, I showed it angrily. How could they do that? One one. Suddenly, Dumbly Dork came. Ew. Old man ejaculation. What the heck are you doing in my office? I began to shoot, he began to shoot angrily. Suddenly, I saw more unit flies, black time machine. I jumped seductively into it, leaving Draco and Vampire. Oh, I love this. Suddenly, I was back in Tim. Suddenly, I was back in Tim. I looked around. It was Professor Slip Slutborn's office. I seeped around and suddenly saw an amnesia potion on his desk. It was black with blood red pentagrams on it. It was in the shape of a cross. I put it in my pocket. Suddenly the door it opened it was Professor Slughorn. Oh my god, what are you doing? Heck, are you shooting angrily? But I didn't know what the heck are you doing? I shouted it. No, I'm sorry. I don't know what the heck are you doing? I shooted shoot it angrily. Oh sorry, I was looking at my around because I thought it was class. You said, you finally said, hoping you couldn't see the potion in my pocket. Okay, okay, you can go now. So, Professor Slugborn, you went to the convent, convent room after putting on my clothes. Silas, Samurai, and Snap were there. Practicing vampires will never hurt you by MCR. Oh, hi guys, this is seductively. Where's Satan? Oh, he's coming. And again, coming is spelled C-U-M-M-I-N-G. It's serious. BT Dubs, you can call me Hades now. Suddenly Satan came. I thought he was already coming. He was wearing a Smexy, black leather jacket, black Congress shoes, a Slipknot t shirt, and a black tie. Okay, we'll see you guys at the concert. I said when I went with Satan. Chapter 38. Authors note. What does everyone think if I end the story and then add some more to after vocation? Oh yeah, and perhaps don't flame me if you do not lick the story, then take my quiz and we'll see if you're gothic or not. Satan and I walked to the car. It was a black car and pentagrams all over it. On the license plate it said 666. Just like Draco's car. I went and seductively, Stan started to drive it. We talked about Satanism. Lulz, he was named after Satan. Cutting, music, and being gothic. Oh my Satan, Gerard is so hacking hot. Most one agrees we smoke some weed. Because my guys are hot and they are sensitive. Oh gee, I love them. Goes, fucks a bye guy. <sighs> yeah, I totally decided to not commit, commit suicide by her Helena. I said in a flirty voice. Hey, Satan, do you know the cure for when people are addicted to Volsomort serum? Well, he thought. I think you have to drink vampire blood. Suddenly, Volsomort parked the car in the black movie theater. Satan and I walked out. It, we were in the movie Tether. They were showing The Exorcist. In it, a boy and a girl were doing it. Suddenly, a serial killer came and well, And serial is spelled with, like, breakfast cereal. And one of the exorcists was there, a serial killer. 
and one another people like sex is but a girl getting possessed. I don't understand this story, and I don't think this chick has either even seen a television screen. Satan and I laughed in the blood because we're sadists. While Satan was watching the movie, I had an idea. I took Satan's gothic black nightbeard before Christmas cigar sexily from his pocket and put an amnesia potion on it. I put it in black in black and the old strange bag. Satan turned around and started to blaze it. So I smoke it. Black flats <laughs> with red pentagrams and then it started to fly around everywhere. Oh my god, one one one, he said jumping up. I started I guess because I was afraid he had noticed. And then guess what? I needed the amnesia on board. Amnesia potion is not being invented yet, so it will not work, he said. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? What is this? What is this story? What is Tom Bombadil doing? He said, too bad because I want to use some on you. Oh, okay. I guess he's a date rapist as well. Cool. I raised my eyes suggestingly and then he took off his clothes sexily. We started to make out. I took off his shit. He had six packs just like George Way. Eleven. We French. Excuse me, but you were going to have to leave. I shooted, shooted the lady behind us. She was a prep. She was a prep. At few, I said suddenly, I tagged her, sucking all her blood. That's really mean. Like, look, we started banging in the middle of the movie theater, and then some lady's like, hey, can you please leave? Like, come on. Don't bang in a movie theater and take that somewhere else. And then Freaking Ebony pounces on her and drains the life force from this lady's body, like... God. No, she screamed. All the preps in the theater screamed, but everyone else crapped. <laughs> yeah, I'd grab myself too if I saw somebody pounce on someone else and start drinking their blood. Cause Satan and I look so cute together. Satan and I started to walk outside. This is OMG, how did you do that? When Wolves ran more ass and I turned on voice. I'm a vampire, I said as we went to the car. Seriously? he asked. Yeah, seriously. I said drinking some beer. Hi. Satan started to drive the car. I smelled happily. It's too bad we couldn't see the rest of the movie, don't you think? Yeah, I said as we kissed passionately. Satan reported in the block driveway next to the place where Draco and I had watched Good Charlotte for the first time. I went inside where Marilyn Mason was playing there and started to watch the wall. Anti people, not even gone too far. Jet Juice Chris, Superstar, 11111, screamed to Marilyn on the stage. We did the double fingers. I started to dance really close to Satan. He was so schmexy. He looked exact. Well, you know, with his gothic and red eyes, and looked exactly like Mikey Way. I almost got an orgasm. Suddenly, Marilyn Manson stopped singing. I would like to present X Black X Tier X 11. He said, I ran on stage. Lucian, Samara, Snap, and Hayes were there. They started to play their instruments. I got on stag. Well, if you wanted honesty, that's all you had to say. I said, I did not own the lyrics for that song. My voice sounded like a pentagram between Amy Lee and the gir girl version of Gerard Boy. <laughs> Everyone clapped. Satan got an eructation. I'm not okay. I finally sang. Suddenly, Lucian started to play the song wrong and by mistake. Oh my heck and god, y yielded James, what the heck? Whoops, I'm sorry, said Lucian. You hecking pee pee hole? James shouted angrily. You guys are such preps, Snap said. Come on, it was a mistake. Yeah, it's not his fault, it's said Sirius. No, you ruined the hecking song, yelled Samuel. You guys stop, Eleven. I showed to it angrily, but it was too late. They all began to fight. Suddenly, Samuel took out his knife. <laughs> oh my god, no, I shouted. Lucan, but it's too late. James tried to shoot off his arm. Wait, how do you shoot off someone's arm with a knife? I'm guessing that James here would be in Black Ops 2 Ballistic Knife, he just like, whoa, whoosh, nice little whoosh, right through the arm. And then I jumped sexily and found the bullet. No 111 yielded everyone, but it was too late. Suddenly everything went black. 
Alright, and on that beautiful plot point, that's when I'll leave it off here for today, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I'm a little tired, so I'm not going to keep going. But, uh, anyways, see ya.